Have you got on with your decimals today on D-Day the 15th? I've been looking through my little book again and uh, I managed all right, though. I didn't do very much shopping. I did go to the bank to see if they'd got any of the new money and there was quite a queue and the fellow in the queue in front of me took out a pound note and he showed it to the cashier and he said, can I just get this straight with you? <clears throat> A pound note is still a pound. It's worth the same, isn't it? The cashier said yes. He, then he folded up and he said, well, will you do something for me? He said, will you change this pound note? And the cashier said, yes, certainly. How would you like it? Two fifties. And the man said, yes, two fifties would be marvellous. So the cashier gave him two fifties. And he took one of these fifties and he put it in an empty purse. And then he took the other 50. He said, now that's half a pound, like 10 shillings, isn't it? And the man said, yes. He said, well, will you change that for me? And the man said, how would you like it? The cashier said. And he said, well, uh, five tens would do. So the cashier gave him five tens. So he put four of them. That's, and he counted 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 into the purse. And he took the other 10 and he said, now, I would like that changed, please, if you don't mind. And the cashier said, how would you like it? Three twos, three threes, and two halves, uh, three ones and two halves. And he said, yes, lovely. So the cashier gave him three twos. And he went, uh, 90, 92, 94, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99 and a half, 100. So the cashier said, now look, he said, why didn't you just ask me to change this in the first place instead of doing it three times? And the fellow said, well, you see, I reckon that sooner or later one of us would make a mistake and I was determined it wasn't going to be me. But the whole decimal point of the story is that if you have a pound, it is worth 100 new pence.